Hello folks, good morning. Welcome to another video. Another great day here in Puerto del Carmen. We are here at Los Posillos. Uh -huh. Just enjoying myself. <laughs> How things? Did you like our last adventure? So we're gonna do more actually. Hello! So I'm just wondering if we can go around uh, seaplanes or I don't know. It's hot. It's hot today. <laughs> to be honest with you, but I'm very, very, very happy because we have a beautiful weather. Not like the other week or another, another, other month. It's just really bad. But today, today is a good day. So yeah, let's go for a walk. You want to see Matagorda? Let's go. So we are here at this uh, very monument that I don't know. There's no name on it. No idea. <laughs> It's nice actually, you know. If you're first time here, you're gonna be amazed with this kind of uh, structure because it's an art. They call it art. Art in Spanish. But yeah, it's a nice place. So let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Embrace the moment. Nice weather. This is what people want. So there's another, wow, musical. Music running night. It's a night time. Wow, that's nice. Where? 13 of April. I hope it's my day off so we can see it. It's nice. Night time. So this is the Los Posillos, uh, I don't know what they call it. Circle or cafes or shopping center as well <laughs> no idea but uh there's a lot of movement there there's a beach shop there's a bike shop there's a mini casino there's a spa oldest spa i ever see right here they do i don't know if they have some butcher oh uh, yeah hops getting better and um which ones? Yeah, Los Posillos uh, apartments right here. And the best of all, this beautiful view that people are walking and, you know, stress free life, they call it. <laughs> oh, me, me too. I'm just walking, I try to relax myself. You know, a long day of work, a long week, or what they call this. A long month of uh, working non-stop. Now it's my free day. Well, actually it's not. I need to work later on. But I mean, this is the day. <laughs> I can make some videos now. And I can do my thing. Welcome to Matagorda. <laughs> you miss this place, do you? Walking here, enjoying. I used to run this uh, back then before the pandemic, but uh, I don't know what happens. Just, yes, I do have everything: time, sportswear, house, baby, and wife are supportive. The only thing that uh, holds me is laziness. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'm so lazy. I can't even. No way, no way. Back then, I was working like uh, in the morning. Yeah, sometimes in the afternoon. But I do have a time to jog or to run for 5K every single day. But now, I don't know. I don't know. I got the heaviest feet of all. <laughs> the encouragement is nothing. Now, I do have some, uh, what do you call this? Uh, a wristband so they can uh, calculate my pace and my kilometers of running but I'm still I'm still the laziest guy you ever see so that's bad <laughs> really bad remember when we went there in that uh, in that uh, Baywatch thing so windy <laughs> it looks very far in the camera but it's just Few, few meters walk. <laughs> I love this camera, so wide. 
Yeah. You know, I think sunshine sometimes gives smile to the people. Yeah. But uh, most of the days, when it's so hot, it feels in a different way. If you know what I mean, you get angry because it's so hot, you can do anything because it's so hot. You can even breathe because it's so hot. There's no people, this is so hot. People are getting, ooh, playing. And people are getting angry as well because it's so hot. It's just like, you know, everything's just hot. Even your head is getting hotter. <laughs> I think that's the best thing to explain. I remember this place, La Heria. Every time I pass through here, I always forget. This is La Heria. It's nice, eh? The good thing about this hotel is just uh, the front, you know. Actually, the entrance is in the other side. But this is the back, the back of the hotel now. But I mean, just like the view from the swimming pools, pool bars, is straight in this uh, in this spot, All right? The beach, and then you can just cross the road and go to the beach. How cool is that? Actually, there's a comment. I'm gonna explain this one, guys. There's a comment. Uh, uh, I just reply a comment about the tourists occupy the apartments. Uh, I gotta explain myself, guys, because, you know, people... I do understand the comment that uh, she gave me. I do, really. I'm not angry with that. I just want to explain myself. I'm just saying it's just like all the locals' owners of the apartments. They make it, uh, they renovate it, they make it fancy, small apartments, just to rent for the tourists. That's the easiest explanation with that. So when the owner of the house make it uh, apartments for the tourists, so all the locals that living there is gone. If you know what I mean. So before they renovate the place, the owner will tell you about two to three weeks, you need to move out. But nowadays here in Puerto del Carmen, especially here in Puerto del Carmen, there's no way. There's no way you can find some apartment that easy for two to three weeks. You need a month, two or three, before you find one. Because all the houses and all the apartments right now, or all the plots that you see, is on renovation and renting for the tourists. That's how I explain myself. So guys, don't, uh, don't get angry with me if I say the tourists kicking off all the people. No, the locals versus locals. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm just I just want to tell you this because if you come here and then you want to stay here for a long time, you're looking for a plat or you're looking for uh, apartments, you need to buy one. You don't have you're not gonna find a renting house, long term rentals nowadays. Very 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 expensive you can find one but it's very expensive and uh, yeah nothing instead of renting it buy it that's the best way to do someone just asked me as well about the live I don't do live anymore um, my internet is very low, <laughs> very slow, so I can do it. <laughs> Maybe one day I'm gonna try to make a live video, but yeah, I do daily vlogs right now, so if I do live, I don't know. Look, this is a good thing about having a lane, bike lane for only a bikes. Look, eh? they're free. <laughs> so I just went there to say hello to my friend right there. Uh, that's my my colleague in the work. They have some shop right there. Let's say hello. 
I'm gonna put my shades now so I'll be invisible. Now I'm invisible right now. <laughs> That's a good thing having a shades. That's why I always wear this one. I feel invisible if I have a shades. So let's have a have a cruise here. Enjoy. Please guys enjoy. Enjoy the view. Enjoy. Hello, how are you sir? You alright? Enjoy everything. Oh, this is I really love. You can walk around. You can enjoy walking. Not worrying a thing because this is a bike lane. I know bikes sometimes they can hurt you, but uh, it's better be like this than uh, what do you call this? Then a car hits you. That's hard. <laughs> of course, it's hard. Actually, there's a lot of restaurant here. It's very nice. Look at this one. Changda, Mumbai Masala as well. But to be honest, it's just. Anyway, time check. What time is it? It's 11. 11, 11 a.m. Hello, primo. What the? I don't realize, I don't realize I do have more uh, friends out here in Matagorda than uh, Puerto del Carmen. You know, my old uh, colleagues that work with me in some years, which is great. You know, we know each other, even though we work for maybe two months, three months, but we know each other. That's good. Digital Zoom, how do you like it? <laughs> anyway, this is a nice spot, yeah? Very cool. This this is all the restaurant and bars. This one is quite good. They're working. And busy at the same time. This is one nice spot as well. To put all your bikes and like a scooter here. It's nice. Don't know what to say, but finding an amazing big souvenir shop. <laughs> oh, this is huge from there up to here. I need some big inventory there. Wanna have coffee? Let's have coffee here. Oh, damn music. <laughs> damn. Damn music. It's nice. This is a nice spot. Big, big, big start. Hello guys, I'm here in this beautiful spot right here that always want to have a coffee way back before and end the pandemic and this is my chance to have one coffee here. The good thing about this uh, camera is very wide so it just put it in front of me and uh, yeah the image is just so wide and I'm, I'm capture, capture all of this uh, beautiful spot or beautiful background that I have. Anyway, uh, I asked for a coffee and a ham and cheese sandwich and, a, and a water, so let's see what they have. I know it's a very basic one, but I think food review is food review. So guys, this food, our food just arrived. So I got the white coffee here with tiny bits of biscuit, which is quite kindly, you know, nice touch. And some sugar as well, but I just opened it, <laughs> forget to think. Coffee, I got the coffee. Creamy, I don't know the taste yet. I do have the water, a regular one. And I got the ham and cheese sandwich. This is, we do it way back 10 years ago. You know, they do have like a, you know, a sandwich maker. That's the one, you know, close it and then they wait for it and then that's it. I think it's much easier way to do it, but uh, yeah, this is my day. <laughs> This is actually my breakfast. 
Uh, we have more and more improved people coming in, so it's great. I, I luckily to find my spot right here. I want to, sp to sit in the front, like front there, but I can't. It's occupied, so I got this for me, and it's fine. Oh, that's nice. <clears throat> that's a nice coffee, also, to be honest with you. It's not look fancy. It's not like uh, great looks. It's not how it looks. The taste. The taste is really cool. It's really nice. You know me. I'm a coffee lover. So this is the coffee they have. Uh, Gimoka. Never heard it. But it's nice. Nice coffee. Great. How about the sandwich? Let's try the sandwich. Look. They have ham and cheese on it. Actually, this is a food review now. <laughs> and the lady got served this breakfast and sandwiches and coffee. She really, she is really nice. She came towards me and asked me what I'm doing. I said, I'm, I'm filming for, you know, for Lanzarote. And um, she, she told me that for her, everything is okay. You can, I can film anytime I want and I said I will bring the family here so we can make a proper full review in this place. So I stay tuned with that but for now I'm enjoying my ham and cheese sandwich. It's really nice. It's very, pretty basic but it's fine. I think you can find ham and cheese in every part of Puerto del Carmen. They have the same taste and different procedure of how they do it. But uh, yeah, ham and cheese, the best. So guys, I just have a lovely, lovely breakfast right here. It's a snack, actually, you know, a coffee, and highly recommend people to come there and, you know, you can relax. It's a nice place. And uh, the girl, i serving all the drinks. She's so lovely and very, very friendly and lovely smile. So that's a good thing about, you know, um, all the waiters out there and all the waitress. We need people like that. She's smiling and, you know, very, very happy girl. So it's great, you know, my wife's the same thing. <laughs> happy. But anyway, let's go. Let's go all the way to the airport. So, ah, lovely, lovely place to stay. I highly recommend, guys, if you want to relax or you've been here in Matagorda. Well, any restaurant, I think they have a greatest place, greatest uh, terrace that you can sit down and have a coffee, but uh, especially that bar. You know, I'm dying to sit there and have a coffee and I made it, so it's great. So let's go. Oh, there's a lot of people here. To be honest with you, lots and lots and lots. Oh, wow, it's full. Yeah, coffee mocha, working well. Great. Oh. You know, sometimes when there's no work, you get angry. So oh, work is just like, oh, very tiring. It's just very slow. When it's too busy, you get angry as well. <laughs> ah, too many people. Ah, too many work. I don't know what people want nowadays. <laughs> Corn and coffee, food and drinks. Very windy in this part. Awesome bike. Look, look at the bike. I'll show it to you. Whee! Wow. How many cylinders you have? Six? That cylinder, go ahead. Nice, eh? So any bikes made by Honda is really great. <laughs> you know, they last long. <laughs> Even with the cars, they made it Toyota. But nowadays, electric bikes and electric cars are more prominent but me i don't have any car right here or maybe i do have a car i i like it manual everything's manual easy to fix and less maintenance you know and it's rough it's like ragged you can bring it anywhere you want yeah not like electric cars 
I see some lots of uh, uh, videos about electric cars, good and bad. I remember watching the whole um, the whole vlogs of uh, Lee uh, McMaster about this uh, electric uh, EVs, you know, electric vehicles, and they race. I forget the name of the guy, but they race diesel engine versus EVs. So it's great, great story, you know. Lee's making great story, and he do like a full charge and half charge and charge again, and then there's a lot of story be between it because. Uh, the charging post, uh, char charging station, to call it. It's way, way far. So he need to drive 100 miles, I think, before he get some uh, charging uh, station. And when he went there, the charging station, it doesn't work. <laughs> it's not working with his car. So he need to find another one. You know, the time is running out. Diesel engine, they just pop the trunk, put the gasoline hose, and wait for it, the full tank, and then you can go. You see the difference between, that's how we explain it, you know. EVs is one thing, it's nice, you know, you can do like a wireless charging, um, internet, everything's, just click on a button, or maybe your voice, Lava Beach anyway or your voice just telling hello car open the car will open for you but uh, I think for me personally I would rather be in the manual what kind of situation you know because he tell what's the bad and what's the good about the EVs it's great great story that's the best uh, uh, video that I watch for him. But I do watch him before, before my, before my YouTube, before our channel, and I'm still do watching him. And I watch a lot from here, from Europe. It's like I watch Team, Walk With Me Team, um, Steve Marsh from Scotland, uh, Scatsman from Tenerife, uh, who else? A lot. Um, which one? Dave. Dave from here, Fabulon. I watch his live sometimes. So anyway, there's a lot of activities going on around here. Scooters flying all over the place, rental bikes. It's just pile of bikes anywhere as well. And the main thing is this. <sighs> it's top of my head now. I told you we're going to the airport, so we're gonna try to make it to the airport. Now I'm just wondering, this is a big, uh, what do you call this? Big beach as well. I don't know why I just put a very, very little, uh, very limited amount of uh, beds right here and umbrella. See? It's very empty. Two, four, six. Two, two, three, four, five, six. It's 24. My baby's dying about. Uh, want me to buy the let it go you know what let it go means frozen you know a frozen movie say daddy i want to let it go and what do you mean let it go let it go the princess oh frozen you tell me. yeah yeah that one that one <laughs> baby's a big girl now she can talk she can ask anything she wants La. and yeah very great getting bigger my baby's getting bigger now it's just one click of the hand blowing away 
anyway, it's a good thing because when I get in the house, daddy, someone talk with. <laughs> so we're now approaching uh, Matagorda Shopping Center. We're not gonna go in, we just want to walk. I walk all the way to the airport now. Let's experience this. Great walk. It's just uh, hot. It's hot today. Look how beautiful uh, Matagorda is. It's very different in uh, Puerto Rico, yeah? Look yeah, at this. Airplanes coming in. Great. Let's go to the airport, shall we? There you go. Plane is approaching. Two, 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 two. There you go. It's very windy, guys. I hope you can hear me. Wow. This is the uh, Matagorda Shopping Center. Nice, eh? The front, like a front, uh, front, beach front. It's just like uh, busy, working well, but inside, it's very different. You know, I've been there so many times. And I got so many different places. And this part only is working well. The other side is not. In the middle especially. Huh. Maybe in the night time, no idea. Wow. Nice open air. Peach. This is a long vlog, long video. So guys, pop some popcorn and enjoy the rest of the walk. We're now approaching Beatrice Hotel. If you pass the Beatrice, you will pass. They were near the airport. Ooh. I think image quality is uh, not the best for this kind of. Uh, uh, filming the story is the best when it comes in this filming because this is not a movie this is a more more documentary or something yeah guys if you're bored in this uh, part you can skip it all the way to the airport let's skip it but anyway what will be at risk right here this one they didn't change a bit. Ah, they trimmed the. They trimmed this one. You heard that? This airplane coming in. They trim all the bushes. It's great. You can see the people inside now. Nice. So guys, sorry I didn't capture the moment when I was walking because we have limited the uh, battery now. But anyway, we're here at the airport. Look at this. <laughs> Welcome to airport. We made it here, ladies and gentlemen, at the airport. You see that plane coming in? There's a lot of people inside. I'm very excited to go out and have some fun. So we just made it here in the airport. Haha, <laughs> how good is that? Because I've been working all day, all night, for two months, and now I'm free. I need to work later on, but uh, I mean, I'm free in the daytime. <laughs> I can do whatever I want. Uh, there's another plane. Want to take off? <laughs> uh, they're, they're all very sad now because they're going home. But uh, yeah, I see the turbulence right here. Oh, they push. Oh, I can smell. Let's try. Let's 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 see. And there's a turbulence. The captain of the airplane telling, oh, we're in the runway. Can we? Can we fly? I'm not gonna go anywhere more. Yes, 
can't see it. You can see the tail of the airplane right there. Nothing else. There you go. Oh, no, I'm trying to push back. Woo, look at this. This I want to see. Mm, look at that. Hey, how you doing, folks? Uh huh. Told you. Let's see how it blows. Oh, I'm here. I'm pushing out a little bit. Oh, oh. Oh, that place is strong. They knock up two bikes right there. Another plane. Let's go. Back then, I'm not uh, filming. I'm not using YouTube. This is my day. I always stay here and, you know, see the plane flying out and reminiscing myself and crying <laughs> because my wife is very, very long way. And I can't go home. Wow. This. Can it fly? Can't fly. Go right now. Yeah. Ooh. My goodness. Ah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, look at that turbulence. Ah. Ah. Oh my goodness. I think that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching and enjoying the vlogs. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. So peace out. See you again. Bye-bye.